Good morning, everybody. Thank you very much for taking time out of your schedules to join us for our very first installment of our monthly Mondays. It's uh, going to be the first Monday of every month we're going to be talking about anything final expense. And it's really designed for the folks that are already involved with URL in selling final expense. I know that there are several people that are on the call today that uh, have not yet started. So I'm going to kind of do a few extra things or th throw in a few, a few extra slides just to kind of explain uh, a little bit more about our final expense program and what we do. My name is Matt Alina, and I'm the one of the marketing representatives here at URL, and I've kind of been the one that's been told to spearhead the final expense marketing here at URL with, where it comes to our companies as well as our, our lead program. So I'm going to get into that in a little bit a little bit of detail as well. Um, this is really kind of an open forum, so nothing too formal. This is a, a way for me to get some feedback from you and find out what's going on out there in the field. I do talk to uh, most of you on a regular basis, so I kind of hear a little bit about what's going on, and, and I want you to know that we are listening to you, and I'll show you some examples of where we are um, where we've gotten some feedback from you in the field and that you know we're getting some uh, making some changes to our program. So here's what we're going to be discussing. Uh, we're going to get into company updates. There's been a few updates, and we're going to do this every month, the first Monday of every month, unless, of course, there's a, a holiday. We're going to discuss company updates, uh, if there's some new, uh, uh, new programs that a company is doing, or if there's uh, new rates coming down the pike or new forms. We'll keep you uh, updated on that. We'll also share with you some sales tips and trends, things that are going on in the field, something that maybe one uh, agent partner of ours is, is dealing with. Maybe you've already dealt with it, and you can share uh, with the rest of us on how you were able to overcome a particular challenge. Speaking of challenges, we'll discuss challenges and successes, some things that have happened over the course of the month, and then what have we done uh, to bring in a potential success. Uh, we're also in this forum each month, uh, we're going to be offering B leads. And people ask, what is a B lead? A B lead is basically an, old, an older lead, something that's about over 30 days old. Um, what happens is when we order leads for you, um, the lead vendors typically send us more than what you've requested. So, um, you know, sometimes we'll throw a few to an agent that's, that's trying to get started. Um, or they've done some business and they're looking to kind of keep things moving. Um, so what we're doing is throwing some B leads in their your direction. Um, so these are leads that have not been worked. Um, they're divided by counties, and we'll get into that in a little bit more detail. And then, like I said, we're going to have an open forum. Uh, I want to know what some of your challenges are this past month. Um, what are some of the good things and some of the bad things? We want to know all of that stuff. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the call today, we do have quite a few uh, people that are new to URL and new to the final expense market. So as I said in this call, we're really not getting into the meat and potatoes of the final expense marketplace. This is more or less a feedback and, and, and a way for all of us to kind of share and help each other out. Um, if you're looking for additional training and additional um, kind of get crack the surface of final expense, we have a webinar coming up, so mark your calendars. It's going to be Tuesday, May 30th at 11 o'clock right here. Um, it's a webinar, and it's going to become, it's, it, the title of it is Becoming a Final Expense Expert. Um, we're going to be talking in, in greater detail about our final expense lead program, how we subsidize our leads, and go into some of the niches of some of our core final expense companies. And then if any of you are involved with Medicare, and maybe you've, you've been doing Medicare for a while and you're looking for a way to expand on that compliantly, we are going to be doing a seminar here. It's going to be on Wednesday, May 31st. It's going to be a breakfast seminar, so we'll have some really good coffee and some good pastries and stuff. Uh, it's making more with Medicare, and it's going to be uh, how to compliantly cross-sell to your Medicare clients. So, if you're not involved with Medicare, I highly encourage you to look into that because final expense and Medicare sales kind of go hand in hand. You're dealing with the same 
demographic, the same group, the same age of people. So uh, consider that. Again, um, May 30th is our webinar on becoming a final expense expert. And our seminar is going to be Making More with Medicare on May 31st. You can register going to our website at urlinsgroup.com. Here's a list of our final expense carriers. You have about 14 different final expense carriers that you can choose from. Um, we don't recommend you get licensed with all 14 of them, but we'll, uh, if you have questions on what's a good company or who are some of our core companies or our top sellers, we'll be happy to share that with you. Um, you can co contact me at any time. We can kind of go over a company selection and get you started there. We do have a final expense quote engine. I don't know if you've uh, had the opportunity, any of you that are on this call today, to utilize our final expense quote engine. You can go to our quote engine at urlinsgroup.com, click on Life Markets, Quoting Tools, and then you'll see there is the final expense uh, quote, quote engine. It'll take you to this little blue box. It's actually a lot bigger on your screen. And you'll put in the client's date of birth, the amount of insurance, smoker, non-smoker, level benefit, guaranteed issue, whatever. And then it'll give you the results, and it shops all the carriers. Now, I don't recommend doing this in front of your client uh, because there may be a company that you're not contracted with. And really, um, the age and the demographic of the people that you're, you're selling final expense to, there really aren't too many resources where they can go and get a final expense quote. So they, you, are, you have this quote engine at your fingertips. So if it's a company that you represent and that's the best rate, you'll show them that. But let's say uh, you'll see on, on the side there, uh, everyone's familiar with the Mutual of Omaha Indian Head. So if you're contracted with Mutual of Omaha but you're not contracted with Oxford, um, you'll see that uh, Mutual of Omaha for just a, less than a dollar more can get the client the same amount of coverage. And that's typically the case with final expense. Most of the companies are all within a couple of dollars of each other per month. We do have a lead program, as I mentioned. Our lead program, you have two options. You can get mailers for $29 per lead. Now they're exclusive. Um, you have your own defined territory and they're never resold. So all of these leads that you're getting, nobody else has ever touch these leads. Um, so it's not, these leads are, um, are not going to you and three other agents. So whoever's the quickest dialer is going to get that appointment. So these are exclusive leads. These are your leads. Um, hang on to these leads if you have mailers. Uh, as I mentioned before with, with Medicare, you can go back and revisit these people uh, during open enrollment. They may have responded to a final expense lead mailer, but you could probably get them uh, Medicare if, you, if you're doing Medicare. We also have tele-leads here. Tele-leads are $17 per lead. Um, they're also exclusive with a defined territory and they're never resold. Um, so URL does subsidize your lead cost based on your production. So, um, and I'll get into that in a little bit more detail. So here's a map of the United States. I wanted to kind of give you an idea of where we're getting a lot of leads, where there's a lot of opportunity um, for, for purchasing leads. So here we are in uh, Harrisburg, the, the south central Pennsylvania, if you will. Um, and we have this, this area here is, is fairly well uh, covered when it comes to ordering leads. Now we have other lead opportunities. If any of you on the call have a, a, a license in Ohio, you've got the Cleveland area. There are a ton of leads in that area. We also have a lot of leads in Western Pennsylvania. So this area here, as well as Northeastern Pennsylvania. So there's some nice opportunities still to be had in Pennsylvania. Uh, the areas where we have a large concentration of agents right now in Pennsylvania is obviously Dauphin County, which is where we're located, and then some of our, our surrounding counties, Lancaster County, um, Cumberland County, um, Adams to a certain extent, but there's, there are still some opportunities there. Then for those of you that are in other states, we have the Baltimore area. Uh, that's We've got uh, quite a few leads there, as well as the D.C. area, 
um, and the surrounding suburbs there as well, as well as DC. Um, then if, for any of you that are in, this, in the southern areas, we do have uh, quite, a, quite a few leads in the Charlotte area of uh, North Carolina. And then uh, for South Carolina, we have quite a few leads in Columbia and kind of moving towards Charlotte. And then, of course, we've got a bunch of leads that we can get for Atlanta and uh, the metropolitan area there as well. So that kind of gives you an idea of, uh, what, of what we have available. Um, if you want more specific details on the leads and the availability, here's my contact information. Um, you can go ahead and um, you can go ahead and uh, give me a call, and we can look into your specific county or a couple of different counties that you would like to work. So, getting into some more of the meat and potatoes of our our monthly call, I wanted to give you some updates on some of the companies that are making some changes or things that are going on. So this week, uh, or the, for this month's call, AIG has a guarantee issue plan. They kind of rival Gerber. For those of you that are already contracted with Gerber Life, AIG has a guarantee issue plan that uh, is now available for sale in Pennsylvania. It was for sale in, and available for sale in other states, but now it's been approved in Pennsylvania. And the guarantee issue product is available for people ages 50 to 85. Gerber's cuts out at age 80 and AIG does pay a better commission. Uh, their rates are a little bit higher than Gerber in, in most cells, but not, not all of them. Um, it's just a nice opportunity there. It is guarantee issue, so there are no medical questions uh, whatsoever. Foresters, I wanted to talk a little bit about Foresters today. With Foresters, uh, Foresters just did a, uh, a term rate revision. They're one, they have some of the best rates in the term insurance marketplace right now. And because they're a fraternal uh, benefits company, um, they, they offer different member benefits. So with the term insurance also coincides with final expense. So the Forester's name is going to be getting out there a little bit more because as people are spreadsheeting the uh, rates for Forester's, uh, that name is going to become familiar. So you have uh, an, extra, uh, an extra resource or an extra company with Foresters. With Foresters, they have the member benefits. These member benefits include Legal Link, which helps them uh, get discounted and free legal advice um, and also helps put together wills, um, estate planning, and things like that. Um, they also offer college scholarships to the grandchildren of a Foresters member. And they have uh, everyday money, which when you're dealing with the final expense marketplace, you're dealing with people that may already, they may have some, um, some financial uh, restraints or, or restrictions. They may be on a fixed income. This, this uh, everyday money program helps them put together a budget so that they can live within their means. Now, Oxford also uh, came out with uh, something new. Uh, Oxford has a free lead drop. In years past, the Oxford would put it, bring some of their top producers on a uh, on a trip uh, to some exotic location. Um, Oxford decided to forego the trip and offer leads. So uh, they're offering a free lead drop with four thousand dollars of minimal minimum monthly production. Now, with our URL. Um, final expense lead subsidy, you're basically going to be able to double dip. So let's just say hypothetically you did $4,000 of Oxford business. Um, we will provide you an extra $200 lead subsidy if you're a general agent with us or a non-Gemini agent or $320 for our Gemini uh, partners. So um, you're, you're kind of able to double dip there. So instead of a trip, Oxford is offering a free lead drop with $4,000 of minimal uh, monthly production. Here are some sales tips and trends. As I mentioned before, Medicare agents, we do have some cross-selling materials that have gone through our compliance department. Um, so if you're looking for ways to cross-sell uh, other products to your Medicare clients, we have that available for you right now. Um, you may not realize this, but your Medicare clients are also your 
final expense clients and you have free leads right under your nose, I'll help you uncover them if, if you'd like me to do that and give me that chance. I was reading uh, through a uh, sales guide the other day and one quote kind of popped out. When it comes to final expense, um, you know, people sometimes think, oh, I need a $10,000 policy or a $15,000 policy. Well, that's not necessarily the case. Life insurance in general, whether it's final expense or traditional, is a problem solver if the person with the problem is aware that they have a problem. So instead of assuming that the client knows why you're on an appointment, uh, ask them the question. Uh, if something happened to you today, would your family have enough money to give you the funeral that you want? Now, the average cost of a funeral is about nine to $10,000. Cremation is a little bit cheaper. So many of our clients and so many of us just as human beings, we live in the moment. We don't think about the future. So if we think about the future and kind of put it into perspective, there may be a potential problem there. And you are not creating the problem for the client. You are solving the problem with a final expense policy. So again, life insurance is a problem solver. You are a problem solver if the person with the problem is aware that they have a problem, and that's where you come into play. That's where you have to expose that they do have a problem. Here's this month's challenge and success. The biggest one that we've had in the last couple of months, and we've been listening to you, are leads. Old lead cards weren't increasing the sales opportunities. And the part of it was because of the wording. And the wording was very vague. So when agents would go on appointments and they would say that they, uh, you'd go on an appointment or try to, to book an appointment, people thought that you were selling or providing a free benefit. These aren't free benefits. Um, so the, we've, we worked with the lead vendor. We have had um, them change the wording a little bit to talk about life insurance benefit, which should kind of weed out some of the people that are looking for something that's something free. Um, and so the challenge was getting making these challenge or changes to the lead card, which we've done. And the success is that these new lead cards that a lot of you have, have placed orders for, they'll be coming in here probably in the next couple of weeks. Another challenge is, was based on um, some underwriting risk. A client had COPD, but they're not on oxygen. They take the albuterol inhaler. Now, this client also had high blood pressure, and they're a borderline diabetic. So they kind of explained how these, the, the, these final expense plans work. The borderline diabetes is kind of one of those where it's being monitored. They haven't been diagnosed with it. So if the question on an application was, do you have diabetes? The answer to that question as a borderline diabetic is no. High blood pressure is not a, an issue with final expense at all. Keep in mind with final expense plans, you're dealing with clients that have had or have medical issues. They may have, um, they may, they may have had cancer, heart attack, stroke, uh, high blood pressure, diabetes. These plans are liberally underwritten. So we do, found that this client had COPD, but they're not on oxygen. They just take that albuterol inhaler, which is also used for asthmatics. The success to that is that Transamerica has a program that as long as the client is not on oxygen, they can qualify for the immediate solution standard plan. And that is a level premium, level death benefit plan. It's not a graded plan. It's not guarantee issue. When a client is on oxygen or if they're on dialysis, then, then yes, we're looking at guarantee issue in those situations. But in the situation of, um, but in the situation of the COPD, since they're not on oxygen, um, they can qualify for the level benefit. All right, here is where we're going to be putting some B leads for sale. They're $15 per lead. Normally, the lead costs are $29 per lead. Now, for B leads, we're not asking for any lead commitment, so you don't have to order a certain number of leads. When you order uh, for regular leads, the A leads, the exclusive leads, those uh, you, there is a minimum order. But for B leads, there is no lead commitment necessary. So just to kind of give you an idea here of what we're looking at, 
We have uh, eight leads available for Berks County at $15 a lead. Uh, 21 leads are available for Carbon County. 13 leads are available for Cumberland County. Um, and it, these are all in first come, first serve. So the first person to let me know that they're interested, they're yours. Dauphin County, you have 11. Lancaster, 11. Lehigh, you have one. Luzerne, I have 40 leads. If anyone wants to travel up to Luzerne for a day or two, um, you could order some leads uh, or get some leads for Luzerne. Northampton, same thing, 17 leads there. Schuylkill County, we have 16 leads there. Any of you that are licensed outside of Pennsylvania or outside of Maryland, uh, we have 20 leads available in Montgomery County, Virginia. And we also have a bunch of leads for Mecklenburg and Cabarrus County. Uh, those are in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. Um, so we have a bunch of leads there. Now there is one caveat. You do have to be contracted with final expense carriers through URL. Um, but there is no lead commitment available or no lead commitment necessary. And again, they're $15 per lead as opposed to $29 per lead. At I'll put my contact information on the screen at the end of this um, and just let me know how many leads you want and we'll go from there. All right, now is the time for an open forum. You can do this by one of two ways to participate. You can raise your hand and if you've uh, entered in your audio code, then I can unmute you and then you'd be able to answer, ask your question or share something with us um, without having to type it. or you can type um, your comments or questions, and then I can read them and then try and get some answers. And maybe if you're around, you can also kind of, it'll be like a, kind of like a chat room. Um, so really what we're looking to hear from you are, what are some of your challenges and successes? Um, are you running into any underwriting snags? Is there something that maybe a company that you have, uh, they're not being as uh, flexible as you anticipated? You know, what are you running into there? Uh, what are you noticing in the field? Now, the other thing, too, and this is a big one, what can URL do to help you significantly grow your sales? So if you're already participating in the lead program, and let's say you're already averaging between 3,000 3, and 5,000 a month, what can we do to help you increase that to six, seven, eight thousand $8,000 a month? How can we help you do that? We're, we're open to suggestions. We want to know. We, we don't know that, you don't, that you're having a problem unless you tell us you're having a problem. We deal with this. We've been dealing with agents in the field for a long time. So we kind of know um, some of the, um, some of the um, ways to get around hurdles. So let us know what, what problems you're having and then we'll um, try and help you get around those, those problems in one way or another. Um, when it comes to leads, Dan, you asked if I have any leads in New Jersey. I can check, I, I believe I do. Um, if I do have them, it will probably be in the Camden, New Jersey area. Um, if I don't know how far that is from where you are, but uh, I might have some in uh, Camden. So I appreciate that question. I'll, I'll talk to you um, privately um, about that. Um, if you, again, if you're running into any other uh, challenges, successes, or any kind of snags or things that are happening, uh, please let me know. I, I'd like to, uh, um, to hear about that. Rich asked this good question, Rich. Oxygen, is Gerber and AIG the only direction to go? Yes. Um, with oxygen use and the, the final expense carriers, when it comes to oxygen use, they also look at it as for somebody on dialysis, it's a guarantee issue situation. Uh, so yes, Gerber and AIG are the only ways to go for oxygen, for oxygen use. Good question. I appreciate that. And I'll, we'll revisit some more questions as you're, as you're typing them around. Um, we'll get some more questions uh, read here. And uh, so I want to pose some challenges to you uh, during the month of May. Uh, now, first one is persevere. Just because a client, if you're spending money on these leads, um, just because they didn't buy from you this month doesn't mean they won't buy from you at all. Um, I was talking to a coworker of mine here who 
uh, used to work out in the field doing group sales. And um, his, his definition of no means not now. It doesn't mean not ever. Um, so persevere. Um, if you happen to go on an appointment and the person just doesn't want to buy from you at that moment in time, it's okay. Um, wait a couple of months, maybe drop them a letter or send them an article um, or a postcard, something like that, that said, hey, uh, I've been thinking about you and thought that maybe uh, this might interest you. And then follow up with a phone call and say, you know, I was out a couple months ago, but I, I saw this article and I thought maybe you would, you'd be interested in learning more about it. And maybe you can get that person to buy from you at that time. So keep persevering. Uh, let us know what we can do to help you uh, with uh, persevering because it, it, it's, it's tough out there. Uh, but we don't want you to think that you're on in this alone. We're here. Uh, we're your biggest uh, cheerleaders. But you don't want to see me in a skirt. Communicate. We want to know your successes and your failures. So um, when you're having a good month, tell us you're having a good month. When you're having a, a, a rough month, well, tell us about that too. Um, you'll be surprised that when you're doing well, uh, other people are doing well or vice versa. Sometimes you're doing uh, well and somebody else is, is doing poorly. We want to know what are you doing that's working. We also want to know what uh, we want to share that with other people as well. Um, so together we will build on your successes and we're going to learn from, from our failures. And growth. Let us know what we can do to help you grow your business. You're spending money on leads. So you should be seeing an exponential amount, uh, an exponential increase in your business. So if your average is $5,000 a month, how do we bump that to seven or $8,000 a month? Um, so let's work together uh, to grow your business. If you do have any other questions or comments, go ahead and type those questions and I'll uh, read those aloud. Um, my contact information, for those of you that would like to order some B leads, um, contact me at 800-926-8875, extension 141. Um, if you have any questions or comments um, that you'd like to discuss with us, you can contact either me or Steve Clemens, who's the Vice President of our Life Markets Division. He's at extension 132, um, and our email addresses are there. So our next monthly Monday meeting is going to be on Monday, June 5th at 10 o'clock, same time, mark your calendars. And as I mentioned before, we do have some other training events that are coming up that are pertaining to final expense. On May 30th is becoming a final expense expert. We're going to get into more details on our lead program as well as uh, getting into more of the substance of, the, of our various carriers and the products and their niches in, within the marketplace. And then on the 31st is going to be um, on making more out of Medicare so that you'll learn uh, different ways of and techniques on cross-selling to from Medicare to final expense annuities and other things that we have uh, in our portfolio. One other question came in here. Let's see here. Rich asks, how are brokers marketing the final expense program that clients qualify for? Um, brochure presentation, um, what are most brokers using and why? It's personal preference on, on the different programs. We do have some uh, non, I, let me back up. We have, and these are good questions, Rich, and I appreciate that. Um, the brokers who have been doing the final expense with us the longest have a favorite company um, or a couple of different companies. They have their go-to company and then they have their pivot companies. Some of our more popular companies to start out out of the gate are companies like Forrester's, Oxford, uh, Mutual of Omaha. Um, those seem to be the top ones. But then if there's some medical problems there or um, for, for rates or whatever, then they'll pivot to someone else like a Transamerica, United Home Life, um, and the worst case scenario like a Gerber or AIG. Uh, to kind of go through a presentation, United Home Life has a nice flip chart 
that uh, is very easy to understand. It has notes on one side for you to be able to kind of read and guide you, and the other one just to kind of explain uh, how final expense insurance works. Um, so that's one way. Some people will have a uh, price sheet and kind of break down the prices of everything that, of the different costs that are associated with a funeral um, and kind of show that, hey, look, this is what a, a typical funeral costs. So um, that's what some people are, are using. Um, and you could use United Home Life's materials and sell them a Foresters. Um, there's, <laughs> there's nothing saying you can't do that. It's not like Medicare where you kind of, you can't really use smoke and mirrors. You can, if there's a, a good um, marketing piece that one company has, use it, even if it's to sell another product. Because really what somebody's doing is they're buying from you. They're, they, they like you, they're buying from you. So um, hope that answers your question. Um, when you get contracted with us, the, the carriers are supposed to be sending out supplies. So um, if they're not getting supplies to you, let me know and we'll get those uh, supplies out to you. But they, a lot of the um, supplies are, um, they, they're supposed to be automatic once you get contracted. All right, I don't see any other questions coming in, um, maybe. Um, Oh, good question, Rich. Um, why Oxford? Price or benefits or both? Oxford is is purely on price. Uh, they have some of the cheapest final expense rates for a level plan. Now, the way Oxford works, which is a drawback to some, is if the client does have some medical issues, um, some maybe some pre-existing medical conditions, um, Oxford is either they get it or they don't. There is no graded or any other modified plan. Either the client can qualify for the plan or they don't qualify for the plan. Um, so that could be a drawback um, there. But um, Oxford typically their rates are very, very, very good. Um, and again, they, as I mentioned in the beginning of the call, if you're doing four thousand dollars a month of with of production. Um, they'll do a free lead drop for you, and then, of course, our lead subsidies with our lead program. So you're kind of double dipping there. All right, I think that should do it for the month. Our very first monthly Monday meeting. Um, we're trying to keep these for uh, try to keep these calls within about 30 minutes or so, um, so that um, you know you can kind of get back to making appointments and and meeting with people. Um, I did get one other. Uh, one other question, um, Michael, do agents make out better going to the lead store rather than calling for an appointment? Um, that is personal preference as well. Good question. I appreciate that. Um, the, um, some people, when you're going on an appointment, maybe if you've already made, called an appointment and there's somebody else that's within a few blocks or a couple miles of where you are, um, some agents have no problems knocking on the door and saying, hey, I'm, I was just in the area. You sent this back. Do you have a few minutes to discuss this? Um, some people are very open to it. Some people are not. Um, some people feel that they may be like a Kirby vacuum salesman. Um, you know, in fact, uh, we actually have somebody that used to sell Kirby vacuums, and he does very well, and he's very comfortable going door to door like that. Um, so it, it's personal preference, Michael. If, if you like uh, doing the door-to-door -door sale, canvassing an area, um, go for it. Um, we do have sales scripts, uh, phone scripts for booking appointments uh, over the phone if you're interested in that as well. Um, so let me know. Um, and that should be about it. Um, if you have any other questions or comments, feel free to call me direct. My number again is 800-926-8875, and my extension is 141. Uh, I, I'm available at any, any time. Give me a call. Uh, let me know what I can do to help you out. Um, and then uh, for those of you that are already participating in the LEAD program, this week I will be tallying your production for the month of April. So when um, – we start invoicing. I'll show you. I'll let you know what your lead credits will be for uh, the month of May. So I appreciate your business. I appreciate your time. Uh, thank you very much, and we look forward to working with you. And 
Uh, next Monday, June 5th, or next meeting is Monday, June 5th, getting ahead of myself, 10 a.m. So we'll see you at our next monthly Monday for final expense sales. Have a great day, everybody.